Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Bitcoin Summer. I am your host, Brian. Today, we're going to be doing another lightning tutorial, and we're going to be opening up a dual funded channel, and we're going to be installing Balance of Satoshis onto our node. So if you have not already, please like, please subscribe, and let's enjoy the show. We're not only going to be opening a dual funded channel today, we're also going to be installing Balance of Satoshis onto our node. Balance of Satoshis has the dual funded channel script built into the software. So what we're going to do is go onto GitHub first and you'll find all of your installation notes here. And it's always a good resource when you're installing new script onto your node. Lots of information here to parse through. As you can see, there are many different script commands that you'll have to become familiar with. But what we're going to be focusing on today mainly is the installation of Balance of Satoshis. What we'll do is open up our terminal and I have a video on this on a previous video so you can see it in the top right corner. Another great thing to use while you're installing new script or doing things that you're unfamiliar with on the Lightning Network or your node is Plebnet and I'll have the link down in the show notes but it's a great resource and it has how-to guides um, and it gets pretty detailed it's kind of like a wikipedia of directions on how to perform different tasks on the lightning network so highly suggested so what i did for installing bos is use the plebnet directions and we'll go through those right now so you'd like to copy and paste this first command line here that starts with c-u-r-l and you'll put that into your terminal and it'll ask for your umbral password yet again. Press enter and you'll see that it's working and it's reading the package lists right now. It doesn't take very long. Installation will take about a minute or two and you'll get to another prompt command. And what I actually did is I, if you have any cron jobs set up currently, I would turn those off for the moment when you're running the uh, balance of Satoshis just to not get confusion between the two scripts that you're running at least through the installation process. All right, next step, we're going to be going through this next line of code right here. Starts with C-U-D-O. We'll put that on the command line, press enter, and you'll see it'll unpack all of the information and install what it needs to install on this step. This one takes just a little bit longer than the previous step. And we'll just go down the list, take the next command code here, mkdir and we're going to copy and paste that into our command line and then we are going to copy and paste the npm command line and put that on there press enter and next step is update the path and so we'll copy and paste this nano command and as you'll see here this is opening up an editing bay and what we'll do is we'll go all the way down to the bottom and we'll have a new line at the end of all of this script on top. And we'll copy and paste this P-A-T-H, this path bit of code. And we'll copy and paste that into our editing bay. This is very important here. This line should be by itself, literally at the end of all of this script. So do not put it in the middle of this page. Do not put it at the top. It needs to be outside of any if-then codes. And you'll save your changes here by hitting Control X and then Y. Y will just confirm the edit. And there you go. That's all edited down. And now we'll need to update the shell. So we'll copy and paste this one that begins with a period. And that's it. And we'll install the balance of Satoshis now. And we'll use this NPM command line here. Copy and paste that in. Press enter and you'll see it downloading our balance of Satoshi script. And this one takes just a little bit, just a minute or two. And I will meet you guys on the other side. Still working. Still working. Going through, going through. And it seems like it kind of gets hung up at the end. But don't, don't worry just and don't back out of the terminal. Just let it go for a little bit. It seems like it stalls out, but... It just needs to process through a couple more things before it's finished with the process. 
Next, we'll run a couple of commands to validate that we set up the tool properly, that we set up the balance of Satoshis properly. So copy and paste this BOS dash dash version command. It'll tell you the correct version that you just downloaded. And then BOS UTXOs. We'll copy and paste that in. Press enter. And give this just a couple seconds. Give this like a minute or two. And what it'll do is just list out your UTXOs from your node. And there's a step you can follow if you get an unexpected UTXOs error. And I did not. So I didn't have to follow this next step. But if you do, you can put in that line of code next. All right, so now we're going to open our dual funded channel. That's the first thing I want to do in Balance of Satoshis. And again, if you're interested in more of the functionality of Balance of Satoshis, I'll have a whole series of different commands that we can work with on this script. It's a pretty cool script. And also there is an umbral node kind of all for one script application and you can Definitely pick and choose what you want out of any of these scripts. So charge LND, bunch of different options in there. And I'll, I will have a video on that coming out later. Okay, so you'll put in the BOS open-balanced-channel command. Press enter on that. And it'll ask you the public key of the node that you want to do a balanced open with. And so I'm going to go in and find, I found a channel partner on Twitter and we wanted to open up a dual funded channel together and that way i wouldn't have to open one to him and he wouldn't have to open one to me and we can split the cost of the opening so what we wanted to do my partner and me is open up a six million sat channel and if we didn't do a dual funded open channel i would have had to do a three million channel open to him and he would have had to do a three million channel open to me and therefore it would have been completely unbalanced because mine would have been just outbound liquidity and his on his side would have been just outbound liquidity. And that way we'd have to pay more in fees to balance the channels. This way we can open up a balanced channel together and you split the fees. And so that's the awesome part about opening a dual funded channel. So what we'll do is not enter in their onion address. What we'll do is enter in their public key. So if you find your potential node partner on Amboss, amboss.space, I'll have that link down below. You can find it on the top left corner just under their alias. You'll have to enter the command line yet again if you put the onion address in mistakenly the first time. Put the command in again, it'll ask for the public key. You'll paste the public key in and now you will see a potential route that they might have to take. And you'll want to do the total capacity of this new channel. So since we were going to do 3 million opening to each other each, we're going to do 6 million total. Type that into the command line here. Next, it'll ask you for your fee rate that you want to pay for the funding transaction. And it wasn't very busy right now, so I just put 1 sat per byte. Use your internal wallet funds, so that'll just take it from your on-chain node funds. And it'll run through a couple other requests here. So what it's doing now is it's waiting for your peer to accept this transaction. And you'll have to keep this open until they do. And what happened was my partner wasn't ready to receive it so this will just time out after a certain period so make sure that your partner is on the other end ready to receive when you do this it's not a big deal if it doesn't happen you'll just have to rerun it and I, we did have to do that actually and so everything will be fine but just make sure they're on the other end when you're ready to run this script and for them to accept the channel open it'll send a small transaction to your node partner to let them know that you're serious about this channel opening and so you'll send 10 sats out, they will receive it, and they'll know that that in transaction's coming in, and they will open up their terminal to accept the dual-funded channel. Since my channel partner was not on the other end when I sent this request, I had to do it again, so let's do the second attempt now. And we'll just run through the same command lines that we did before. And this time it'll be a little bit easier because I'll know what 
address to put in. So BOS open dash balance dash channel yet again and then your prompt will come up. It'll take just a minute or two. And public key of the node to request a balance open with. I just copied it from the previous script that I ran before. Total capacity of the new channel. Obviously we're doing 6 million. One sat per byte since it's not very busy right now. Use internal wallet funds, yes. And here we go, it's gonna send the request out yet again. And let's see what happens when it's accepted. Okay, so here you'll see it was waiting for the balance channel to be accepted and then it was accepted. And then it'll run just a little bit more code and it'll broadcast the transaction for you, which is really cool. So when you go into Thunderhub now, you can go to your pending open channels and you will see your 6 million or however many you do channel opening right now. And it, this you do this all under the hood. You don't even need a uh, user interface on Thunderhub or anything like that to open this channel. I thought that was really extremely cool to be able to just do it with code. And as you'll see, you'll have your minimum fee rate here, one sat per byte. So we did this very cheaply, 190 sats, and we split that because we did that together. Four cents each. So there you have it. We have our dual funded channel now opened, and we have our balance of Satoshis installed on our node. So that's gonna open up a whole Pandora's box of more commands that we'll be able to go through on the show. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. You're gonna be doing a bunch of different intricate little tricks and tips on our nodes that will help us rebalance, that are, that'll help us with fee management. We're going to dive into all of those things and a bunch of different applications that you can set up on your Umbral node as well. And not just Umbral specific, but I have an Umbral no node, so we'll be kind of centric around that. But a lot of these different things you can do on any node that you have at home. So just like Balance of Satoshis, we can have that opened on my node or whatever you're using. So again, thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't miss the next Lightning episode. And also, the next episode will be audio only. So go subscribe to the podcast on any of your favorite podcast apps. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.